Are you serious? Are you serious? Hurricanes! It's very possible, folks. And this thing just jumped up out of nowhere. It's like, you know, normally tropical storms and hurricanes come off the coast of Africa and work their way through the Caribbean islands, and then, then you start to realize what you're dealing with. Not this time. This thing jumped up out of nowhere, right, right in the Caribbean, just boom. Somebody said, well, I, I saw a newsman yesterday, a weatherman, say, well, don't worry. It, you know, it's too late in the season, it's, and this thing formed too late, and it's just nothing to worry about. Are you serious? Well, the game has changed quickly. And we need to send a message right now to Washington, D.C. You guys going to sit there with the government shut down and let a hurricane hit Mobile, Alabama, or, or, or Louisiana, or the panhandle of Florida? Because this thing is this, this a crisis. I'm going to show you right now. Get a cup of coffee, everybody. Just calm down and understand that there were something biblical going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. It's an apocalyptic hour. All right, here we go. I'm going to show you right here uh, a disturbance over the central Gulf of Mexico has become better organized and has become Tropical Storm Karen. Oh, I don't like the sound of this thing. Oh, no. Let me show you a little bit of a map. There it is. There in the Caribbean, uh, it actually formed right down in here. I mean, it's, it didn't form there, right there. And next thing you know, there it is. It's becoming a significant tropical storm. It will go into the uh, Gulf of Mexico's warm waters. And when that happens, folks, this thing could become a hurricane by Saturday. Is anybody boarding up windows or plywood? No! No! And is anybody in the federal government worried about it? No! No! They're all worried about their political agendas. But let me read on. I got more maps to show you that's quite significant. Now... Here's what the report says, that a disturbance is emerging over the central Gulf of Mexico. It has become better organized. It has become Tropical Storm Karen. And by the middle of today, this system will move into the southern United States by this weekend. The thunderstorms with this system have been spinning across southern and central Caribbean islands during the last two days. And into this early morning hours of Wednesday, the, it, the wind shear had been bit, and it, it's starting to, in, it's intensifying. So wait, here we go. The, so we move into Thursday, and it says, Karen will continue to move along a curved northward path over the central Gulf of Mexico through Friday, and will most likely make landfall up, along the upper coast, Gulf Coast, Saturday night, Saturday night with the government closed, turn out the lights, folks, the party's over, what are you doing, we've got a hurricane starting to form, what, Hurricane Karen, and this, the chance, there is a chance, Karen becomes a hurricane before making landfall, showers and thunderstorms will become more frequent from the Florida Panhandle to the southeastern tip of Louisiana Saturday. As Karen strengthens, seas will gradually build over the central eastern Gulf of Mexico. As the seas build, the frequency and the strength of the rip currents will increase along with the possibility of beach erosion. Now, I'm not saying this is going to be a, a, a Category 5 hurricane. This isn't Katrina. This is Karen. But it's the timing, the fact that it just jumped up. Like God just went, stirred it. Uh, and it jumped up, headed into warmer waters, catching America flat-footed, broke, busted, and disgusted, and the government shut down, catching us unaware while meteorites are crashing through the sky. The comet Ison's on the way. Don't worry about that either, because NASA has shut down the telescopes. What? Oh, don't worry. Here we go. It's okay. Aren't you glad that God's on our side? Well, he's on my side. Is he on your side? That's a question only you can answer. Now, you can change it, though. You can get on the winning team. You can become a born-again believer. You can accept Jesus Christ. But wait a minute. 
Let me show you what else is going on. Look at this. Look at this. Near and just east of where Karen makes landfall, minor coastal flooding is possible. Uh, wind gust will be in the neighborhood maybe of 60 or more. That's as of now. Folks, I think you're looking at about a 90 to 100 mile an hour wind based on the information and experience that we have watching these storms and the time frame that we're in. But here's what Karen is going to do. As it's forming right there in the, in the Caribbean, it comes into the Gulf of Mexico's warm waters. And when that happens, well, then the windshield begins to pick up. As this tropical storm, Karen, may become a hurricane just before crashing into Alabama. Now, it could actually drift a little bit further west and slam into Louisiana, or it could hook more toward the east and, of course, the panhandle of Florida. But definitely, Alabama, you are in direct path. Mobile, Alabama, what are you thinking? This is a serious storm. So I'm going to go ahead and be first ahead of all your major national media and start telling people you better start boarding up some windows because I'm looking at the timing of this storm. I'm looking at the prophetic timing of the storm that it's catching us unaware. Now there's another, let me show you another map here, some more information as it relates what's going to take place later in the week. Sometimes a tropical system makes landfall. Tornadoes can be produced. Can we just tell you something? This is October the 3rd, the 20th anniversary of Boris Yeltsin's Russia when he went out and dissolved their parliament. I'm not saying President Obama's going to do that today. I'm not saying he's not going to either. I'm just saying this. We're, our government shut down. I mean, it's the same situation that's going on in Moscow. But let's not go there right now. Here's the thing. I stepped outside yesterday, or this morning, and it is hot and humid. It's raining, but hot and humid. It's October the 3rd at 6 o'clock in the morning, and I couldn't hardly breathe because of the humidity and the heat. I mean, it got up to 84 degrees yesterday. This is October. This is October. So what I'm saying is, you've got this storm. Here we go. Let me look at this. As it pushes its way in, it could spin off some tornadoes. This is also, I actually am more worried about that than I am a hurricane. I believe that this thing is going to turn into maybe a, a Category 1 hurricane, certainly a strong tropical storm, but the problem will be when it comes ashore, with its, with its, uh, then it's going to spin off. And when it spins off, you've got a cool front. You've got a, you've got a snowstorm. They're expecting a foot of snow out west. Remember, let me just let me explain this to you. So as it comes ashore, there's a possibility at this point, near the east of the landfall this weekend, strong cold front will move across the Mississippi Valley. And it will collide with this warm, tropical air coming out of hurricane, tropical storm, let's say, Karen. And this will help pull the moisture from this Gulf of Mexico system northward, enhancing rainfall from the Gulf Coast to parts of the interior south. And this rain could be heavy enough to alleviate to alleviate recent dry conditions and all that. Yeah, okay. Put a good spin on if you want to. I'm worried about tornadoes. No, no, no. So let me just show you this map. Here you go. All right, obviously, here, here to Karen, it's forming in the trop uh, the, in the uh, Caribbean islands. Working their way into the warm water of Mexico, Gulf of Mexico, headed right for Alabama, Louisiana, and Florida. But as that comes ashore, look at this map. Do you see the out west? Do you see the chilly snow? They're expecting a foot of snow in Colorado today. But look at the dry out west. Don't worry about the west too much. Now, you've got the showers way down here. That's because of tropical storm carrying as it comes ashore. Very warm in the south and rainy in the uh, Midwest. And then this chilly snow, this, this frigid, not frigid, but, you know, cold, chilly air will collide with this warm tropical air. 
and you have a, with a tropical storm or hurricane pushing that warm air, you, are, you have a situation developing here, folks, for a tropical storm, hurricane, tornado spinoff, right while the government is shut down. Where is FEMA? I'll tell you where FEMA is. Let me tell you where FEMA is. FEMA's over in Region 3. FEMA's right over there in Region 3. In case there's civil unrest from a governmental shutdown, they're more worried about blocking the World War II monuments. They're more concerned about making sure none of no American citizens walks on the lawn of some monument or, or gets too close to something. Uh, they're shutting Americans out of these things. While FEMA's worried about security because of the government and the political politics that's going on, we've got a storm brewing in the south and a snow blizzard coming from the north and something biblical is going on here with the signs of the second coming of Christ. I'll be right back. Don't you dare go anywhere. Stay with me and don't miss my show today as things are developing around the world. I'm going to talk to you in my next video about the Middle East. Assassinations going on in Iran. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious?